Brian, can Brian, you hear me? Can you hear me? Brian, Brian. Brian, can you hear me? Brian. Brian. Hello, I'm Brian Duffield, and I'm a survivor, a cardiac arrest survivor. Not long ago, I finished a swimming workout here behind me when I collapsed on the locker room floor. I had no warning signs that my heart was suddenly going to stop pumping blood. I exercised daily, was young and healthy, and I'm here today to talk with you because some people acted quickly and gave me a chance to live. What they did to help save me is not difficult to learn. In fact, anyone can do it. It's called compression-only CPR. Compression-only CPR was developed by the University of Arizona's Sarver Heart Center. Anyone who goes through experience like I had comes away with a new outlook on life and appreciation of the time we have with our family and friends. So if you'll devote just a few minutes of your time to this short video, it could mean everything to a person like me. What you will learn in this video is, compression-only CPR is approved by the Arizona Department of Health Services Bureau of Emergency Medical Services and Trauma System. People who administer it are covered by the Arizona Good Samaritan Law. It's safe and easy. You don't have to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing, just compression-only CPR until emergency medical people arrive. You will learn how your hands are their heart until emergency medical people can take over. Thanks for coming, and today we're gonna to talk about compression-only CPR. The first thing to remember when someone has collapsed is to call 911. And if you're in a public place, call for an AED. Now, if they're breathing, check to see that it's normal. If they're struggling or gasping for breath, this is obviously is not normal. If they're not breathing normal, take your knuckle, and place it on their chest like this. This is called a sternal rub. And if you don't get a reaction, then you need to do chest compressions. Make sure the person is lying on the floor and get up on your knees so that your arms are hanging vertical on the person's chest. Place one hand on top of the other and lock your elbows like this. Place the heel of the bottom hand on the center of the person's chest in between the nipples. Press hard about 100 times a minute. Remember, the person's heart has stopped beating and your hands are acting like their heart until paramedics get there. Release pressure on the chest after each pump like this. If you get tired, have someone watch you so they can take over. It's important to keep pumping until emergency medical assistance arrives. If an AED is available, open it. Follow the instructions. Anybody can do it. It's easy. Any questions? What's an AED? An AED is an automatic external defibrillator. Now, it is designed to shock the heart when it needs it. It's also designed for non-medically trained people to use, and you can find them everywhere. Airports, churches, schools, health clubs. Any more questions? Do I need to be certified? No. You don't need to be certified to do compression-only CPR on a cardiac arrest victim. In fact, it's so easy to learn that you can teach your family and friends without any more training or certification. What's the Good Samaritan Law? The Good Samaritan Law is a state law that protects people from liability when they try to help in an emergency, like compression-only CPR.
Once again, the important things to remember are, if someone has collapsed, call 911. If an AED is available, have someone who knows how to use it open it and follow the instructions. And always make sure the AED is turned on. Shake the person and shout to see if you get a response. If they are breathing, make sure it seems normal. Use the knuckles to rub back and forth on the chest. Make sure you rub hard on the chest. If there's still no reaction, then you'll need to perform chest compressions. Make sure the person is on the floor and get up on your knees so your arms are vertical on the person's chest. Place one hand on top of the other and lock your elbows. Now place the heel of your bottom hand in the center of the person's chest between the nipples. Push hard on the chest about 100 times a minute. Release pressure on the chest when you come up after each pump. If you get tired, you can take turns with someone else who knows continuous chest compressions. It's important to keep pumping until emergency medical assistance arrives. Remember, until medical assistance arrives, your hands are their heart. Brian. Brian. He had a pretty serious emergency. He had a pretty serious emergency. Don't talk, just a minute. Right on this. I was only 40 years old when my cardiac arrest happened. Since then, I've learned that what happened to me can happen to anyone, anywhere, without warning. I hope you'll tell your friends and family about compression-only CPR. Not just tell them, but teach them. It could save a person's life, a person just like me.